You probably know the song Proud Mary. Rolling on the river. Flanders has its own Proud Mary, the Vieren Marguerite. And as you'll see, there are some similarities between that famous song and the story of the heroine of Leuven. Women's rights avant la lettre. Hotels, restaurants, cafes. In Flanders, they are all around. But back then, streets were more narrow, scarcely lit, so more dangerous at night. Once upon a time, there was Marguerite. She worked as a barmaid at her uncle Amanda's inn. Amandis decided to sell the inn and enter a monastery. But during their last night at the inn, eight pilgrims arrived, asking for some food and a place to sleep. But since Amandis had sold all his liquor, he sent Marguerite off to go and get some wine. But these pilgrims weren't pilgrims at all. They were after Amandis' money. So they killed him and his wife and waited for Marguerite to come back. When she came back, they kidnapped her and took her out of town where they tried to rape her. Tried because Marguerite fought back. She's called Fier, which means proud. She'd rather die than be abused. The robbers eventually killed her and threw her in the river Dale. And this is where the miracle happened. Marguerite didn't sink. She was lifted by the fish and brought back against the current to the city of Leuven. Surrounded by a magical light, Henry I, Duke of Brabant, found her and was astonished by what he saw before his eyes. The robbers were caught and thrown in prison. And Marguerite? She continues to live in the hearts of Leuvenaars. Now, what is true about this story? Well, it's kind of hard to tell what really happened to Marguerite. The oldest version is written down by some monk in the 13th century. She was actually found at the banks of the River Dale, buried by some fishermen. A strange light surrounded her grave and all kinds of miracles happened to people who came near. They decided to dig Marguerite up and bury her in the St. Peterskerk in Leuven. The story was written down not long after the death of the real Marguerite, so it might hold some truth. The remains of Marguerite symbolize not only her own story, but it stands for the story of countless women across the world. That's why it's still so important. Take a look at this skull. You can imagine Marguerite's face, but in a way, you can imagine many faces. Several times they tried to get Marguerite beatificated. But it was only in 1902 that Pope Leo XIII finally did it. Maybe he tried to give the profession of barmaid a pious example.